Hello, I'm Sydney. Uh, the uh, species I chose for this project was the Antsingi leaf chameleon. Its scientific name is the Brookhesia permata, and it is classified as an endangered species. Um, it is related to the uh, bizarre nose chameleon and the common African flap neck chameleon. It lives in Madagascar in about the middle of the island off to the left. It's not quite on the coast, but it is getting close. Um, we don't really know how many of these chameleons are still alive. It's very hard for people to patrol the area and get an exact count of how many, pe uh, how many chameleons are left because there are some security issues that prevent um, park agents from patrolling the area. So these chameleons, they live pretty much their whole lives in the leaves. Um, they're born there. The underbrush gives them the heat and humidity they need to birth their eggs. So from birth till death, they stay on the ground and live in the leaves. Um, they feed on small insects, flies, and termites. And the relationship what they have with the leaves is pretty much their only symbiotic relationship. Um, it's classified endangered on the ICUN red list. Um, it is protected by CITES. Um, the Endangered Species Act does not protect the ant singy leaf chameleon, um, and it is included in the biodiversity hotspot, which is Madagascar's one of their hotspots. Um, there's not really a specific plan for conservation of these chameleons um, because, as stated before, they can't really patrol very well, so they can't put in a plan that um, actively helps save them. They do, however, get a little bit of um, protection because they live on protected land, so the fact that they live on that park helps them um, from becoming totally extinct. So a fun fact about them is that they are much smaller than usual chameleons. They weigh about seven grams as opposed to regular chameleons, which weigh anywhere from 120 grams to 180 grams. That's pretty much it. Um, what I learned from this project was I was really surprised about how little information there was on this chameleon. Um, Obviously, they can't document every uh, species in existence, but um, for it being in one specific area, it was surprising to me that there wasn't more information and more um, uh, solutions we could implement to help these creatures uh, have a prolonged existence. But um, it was a really interesting project and I enjoyed learning about the ant singing leaf chameleon.